make a peacock today. Who is with me? Actually, let's make two peacocks. I love peacocks. They are the most colorful birds. Now, here I have my glue, my markers. There are two different shades of green, brown for their feet, and two pieces of coffee filter. It can be any size. I have the largest ones. And this white paper is for the pattern that I will draw and cut for the body of the peacock. Let's begin. If you have a piece of paper, fold in half, and then with your pencil, draw a small semicircle and then a bigger one. And now you can cut it out. This we will use as a body of a peacock. This will be the body. Now, I have two different shades of green. I am putting them together. I will trace my body of the peacock and then cut it out. Let's use our markers and make designs on our coffee filters now. I have some water and a thick paintbrush. Now I am going to wet the designs to make the colors mixed in their own way. I put a piece of paper underneath because I didn't want my table to get wet. Look how beautiful image is happening. The colors are mixing. They're really interacting with each other. Okay, I am being very gentle because the coffee filter is very thin. Now I will move that aside and I will take my other one. Slowly, I am putting water. I hope yours is coming out beautiful too, just like mine. Now, did you know that female peacocks are gray? The ones that we see at the zoo, the colorful ones, are all males. Okay. We're gonna wait for them to dry a little bit and then we will meet again. Let's give our peacocks faces. Two eyes. And a nose. And the other one will have purple eyes. We also need to cut feet for them. That's why I have this brown paper with me. We need to cut two sets of feet. So fold it in two. This can be one. And this is for the other two, other one. Okay, let's put the feet together. One here, maybe on this side. There you go. They are waiting for their body to dry so we can attach them to each other. 
look at the beautiful design we created by wetting the coffee filter. Now we are going to position the body of the peacock. I think I will put it this way. So with your glue bottle, you can squirt only a tiny bit glue. Here is one. Let's move it aside and take the other one. Mm, this is even more beautiful than the other one. And I will put mine right here. I hope you enjoyed making these peacocks with me and I hope yours came out as colorful as mine. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you'll be the first to know when I upload another fun video. So long everyone!